Hey Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo baby. This is going to be a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with you, Virgo. If you find something that does, please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. I'd really appreciate it. Bear in mind, you can also book me for a personal reading. Just get in touch, darling. Uh, follow me on the socials. I follow back. And you can also catch me for live tarot. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss our lives where you get the opportunity to have a free tarot reading. Who's currently thinking about Virgo? Who's currently thinking about Virgo? Remember that energy can be transferable. Who's currently thinking about Virgo? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, I can already pick up on the energy. Virgs, hopefully you're in that Queen of Swords energy and you're seeing shit for what it is, okay? We have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles there with regards to who's it's thinking about you. Again, remember, this can be your energy or your person's energy. There's sadness here. There's disappointment. There's regret. I don't know. I don't think it's your energy, Virgs. Maybe you were sad at one point. Maybe you were a bit disappointed or regretful, okay? But I feel, especially with this Page of Pentacles energy, it's like... There's no opportunity here. This person is not giving me opportunity to grow, to be my authentic self. I thought there was an opportunity here, but perhaps it's led to sadness. And I feel with that Queen of Swords energy, you're seeing shit for what it is. You're seeing stuff a bit more clearer now. Now, I think a lot of people, especially with this lunar eclipse season, this energy, Mercury retrograde and the alignment of the planets, I feel like a lot of people have been going through some spiritual warfare. I feel like a lot of people have been going through some shit. And I feel a lot of Virgos are pushing past that shit, regardless of what may try to blow them off course or something like that. Good for you if you're in this Queen of Swords energy and you're seeing shit for what it is and you're and you're thinking clearly and you're being truthful yourself and you're seeing shit around you as a reality rather than an illusion okay if someone made you feel like this call mommy gifted okay i'll punch them in the throat for you okay uh, moving on to who is it that wants virgo we will clarify some of these energies whoever it, whoever it is that wants you with the four of pentacles there it could be that type of energy where they want to keep you at arm's length but they also want to keep you close to their chest close to their heart like, you're not getting away that easy, Virgo. Someone here could be a little bit possessive over you, okay? Who wants Virgo? It could be someone that you was really generous and kind to. Nine of Cups. There's somebody here that's manifesting you, Virgo, whether you know it or not. Okay? Knight of Swords. I feel like whoever it is that wants you, they're going to come in thick and strong. They're going to come in fast. Perhaps you're not going to see this coming, okay? They may have may have issues around drinking alcohol okay it's a very impulsive energy here right who truly loves Virgo the hermit card you truly love you well I hope that's the case okay who truly loves Virgo it could be another Virgo that truly loves you five of pentacles whoever is that truly loves you perhaps you broke up with this person recently there was some sort of argument maybe you feel like you've been left out in the cold or they've left you out in the cold so there's definitely a breakup here with the eight of cups and the five of pentacles somebody walked away from somebody here yeah for whatever reason and I reckon for a lot of you guys is valid reasons, okay? That it might not be valid to them, but I feel like it's valid to you. So we're going to start clarifying some energies. Then we're going to see what's coming towards you in love. And then we'll put out some oracle messages if we have time. Tell me more about this five of, Pentacle, uh, five of cups. Why is the five of cups here for Virgo? I already feel like some of you guys are dealing with or were dealing with somebody that was non-committal. The ace of cups in the reverse position why is the five of cups here queen of cups someone wasn't open to your love yeah nine of cups here again i feel like somebody is closed off here and it could be you maybe you decided you know what i need to put myself first maybe that's the message maybe you need to put yourself first okay you've been sad you've been disappointed you've been let down 
and I feel like some of you guys are like, yeah, this is it. This is my breaking point. I've had enough. A lot of you guys are dreaming. I feel like a lot of you guys are dreaming. Okay, pay attention to those dreams. You've been very compassionate and kind to somebody, but they didn't reciprocate that love. They didn't reciprocate that love. Virgo, people come into your life and they leave better. They leave your life better than they were before. A lot of you guys are light workers, okay? Why is the... Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Person that wants Virgo. Why is this Knight of Swords here? A lot of you guys have been dealing with some sort of breakup. Tarot, what are you trying to tell me? So the Knight of Swords have been, has been clarified by the Knight of Swords. <laughs> oh, dear. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay, so some of you guys are not going to want to hear this. But uh, it's a very specific message for somebody here, okay? Virgs, I know a lot of you guys have felt lonely. You know, you may even be in a relationship, situationship, whatever it is with somebody, but you still feel lonely. You need to be patient with yourself. You need to be compassionate with yourself. You need to be extra courageous. Some of us are jumping into situations when we haven't done the healing. Some of us are forever seeking without healing. Don't act on impulse, Virgo. Okay, be brave. You are more courageous than you think. You're more courageous than you know. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others, but most most certainly more be patient with yourself. Okay. Right. Um, why is the Eight of Cups here? You should, uh, yeah, eight of cups. Somebody walked to it. Listen, there's somebody here that perhaps you've got trust issues with. Perhaps this person is a downright dirty dog, okay? Maybe they're hiding something from you. There's lies, there's deceits here. And I feel like a lot of you guys had to make that choice to walk away because somebody's not serving somebody here, right? Why is the eight of cups here for Virgo? Why does Tarot do this? Eight of Cups again. Why is it Eight of Cups here? Six of Swords. Six of Swords. So it's... Oh, it's a fucking thing. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I feel like some of you guys hit the fuck it button and said, you know what? I don't need this, okay? Six of Swords is you moving past the hurt, the pain, the trauma, going into karma waters and that need to protect yourself. You need to protect yourself. And you told yourself, I don't need this shit. You're not my person. Or if I can't trust you, if we don't have trust, what do we have? You know? Let's see what's coming towards Virgos in love. What's coming towards Virgos <clears throat> in love? What's coming towards Virgos in love? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you guys, a very supportive person. Someone that doesn't mind talking about their feelings. What's coming towards Virgos in love? Wow. The star card, Aquarius energy. Make a wish, Virgo. I see something very promising here and it's not going to be for everybody. Okay. This is your reminder that you are on the right path. What's coming towards Virgos in love? What's coming towards Virgos in love? Chariot card. This could be somebody that is a Cancer. It could be somebody that is completely different from your usual type. And I think that is what suits your disposition right now. Okay? Chalk and cheese. But still, somehow, it works. Strong water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming towards you. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull out some oracle cards for you, Virgo. What's the oracle message from Virgo today? The Ace of Wands. A gift of passion. An inspira opportunity and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. There's passion here. There's adventure here. 
Like, I get this strong energy, yeah, endings, you're needing, you needed to do this for yourself. Some of you have done it already, some of you need to do it. A situation has ended, Virgo, and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. And I know it's hard to let go. Wow. So again, we have strong Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. Yes, it's safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions, okay? So a lot of you guys get on your A game, yeah? Get into that mindset. You know you have dreams, you have aspirations. There's things that you want to do. There's things that you want to achieve, okay? And the last card, the Ten of Cups. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. You're going to get the happy ever after. Through the process of pain, you're going to come out stronger on the other side. And a lot of you guys are going through it. Reach out to me if you want to connect with somebody, okay, and get some stuff off your chest. I follow back. I list, I read all my messages. Um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Remember, you can book me for a personal. You can also catch me for live tarot. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it, my darlings, okay? As I always say, from one Virgo to another... Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you, okay, Virgo? And the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Take care.